Welcome to the Boss Life. We're walking out here to put blinds out. And these birds are right in the corn. Amy's with me. And we got birds. And they're still filing out of there. Look at that. Let's go. We'll just walk up. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you should have brought a gun. It's okay. Look at them. They're still coming. Look at this. Look at this. birds we're gonna get in here and out of here and leave it alone that's the boss life Birds. Let's just hook this corner quick. Look at this. Just beat down. This is all turkeys. A couple deer in here, but the majority of this is all birds. Okay, so we're gonna put up a camera and we're gonna put up these blinds and get out of here. The camera right on the corner of the corn stalks. Pointing right there? Nope. Okay. Come yep. It is 4.50 a.m. and there's one other car on the road. We're headed to Wisconsin to do some winter turkey hunting.
This segment brought to you by Mossy Oak. Hit maker.
over there. The rest of these birds filed in. Once she flapped off, they went back up, checked her out, and now they've skirted down. There's a creek back behind us. They're more than likely going to come back this way, but there's way more birds in here. So, we're going to wait for those to come in. Down with the crossbow. We're going we're gonna to punch as many tags as we can today. And we're going to get some of these farmers some birds for Christmas. Straight down the hill. As soon as we start calling back after that tree that's super fast. That bow, they got a little startled just because I think she's the boss head. But other than that, that bow's so fast. She she had no idea. And they're cool, so no shooting yet. We're gonna be shooting the next go around. More turkeys, please. got in here and the birds were right in front of us. We put up these blinds about a week and a half ago so the birds got used to them and they came right down right running, away. Running. Yeah, running down the hill right off the roost after some tree up and back and forth. Once they start talking, I start calling and the boss hen, she was having None of it. She came right around that blind, no kidding, two feet. She hooked around the backside of it, got in front of me. She was eight feet tops. tops. And I punched her with that Barnett Hyper Ghost 425 crossbow, and she went, what, 20 yards? Yep. And died. So, you know, birds were still coming. So the birds that were with her didn't really know, so they kind of hung out. They were a little skittish. Then they settled back down, went off back into this corn behind us, and probably oh, an hour later, a whole other group filed in right in front of us, um, punched another tag. So good sit. We're gonna get these birds dressed up and get them to the farmers for letting us come out here. This time of year is so much fun. It is. It's very addicting. 
I don't like to get up early, but I get up early to winter turkey hunt. Winter turkey hunt is something special. You know, if you if you have a season like this where you're at, I extremely encourage doing it. It's so much fun. There's a pile of birds. It's totally different than spring. It's not anything like everyone's condition. Big strutters come in, the whole bit. So um, totally different style of hunting. Very enjoyable. Plenty of birds, plenty of tags. Most zones that have this type of hunt are liberal zones. They have a well-established flock. Not everywhere in the country gets that opportunity. We just happen to be one of those places. So stick with us. There's more to come. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very first animal taken with the new Hyper Ghost 425 crossbow from Barnett happens to be a late season fall turkey. What a great tool. What a great hunt. No kidding. Eight feet in front of the blind that I was sitting in. And this thing just smoked. So... I can't tell you how super fast this thing is. I've shot it a couple times. I had to redial it in um, because of the speed I was shooting. I, I had shot at a buck opening day of uh, firearm season and I shot right under it thinking it was going to drop. No need for that with this thing. This thing is so wicked fast. So. Check it out. If you're into crossbow hunting or you need a crossbow to hunt, right here. And I'm not done with this thing. I'm going to go get some more birds.
Up your odds with Boss Life Outdoor Gear. <laughs> Another one. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> How many more you got in there? <laughs> Ain't got time to fool around. Uh, you can't do anything. They're still coming up. They could see us. There, there's like four or five that's sitting on the side of the hill, just going like this, looking down the hill. I'm like, you can't move. And that looks a little obvious with two cameras sitting there, you know, and then us <laughs> in white, you know. <laughs> I never hit record. Hey, no. Going down. Well, another late winter turkey hunt. Three birds this morning. Coming into the corn, took a while, they came in, they bumped off, came back in, came down the hill. Um, cameras couldn't get much because we were tucked in the corn this time. These birds have seen a lot by this time of year, so we just let them kind of do their thing and come down. Tons of calling, ping pong and back and forth. Kiki in with the mouth call. So what you're seeing with these hunts a lot of these landowners, these birds come in, there's so many of them, they're doing crop damage. So this particular landowner wants us to come in, there's way too many birds, and they're destroying the crops. So we come in, we take care of business. Um, this go around, we just sat in the field itself. So not in a blind, um, ping pong back and forth with the calls all morning. And eventually they made their way down the hill, the lot of them and this is the end result on this hunt it was fun um, thank goodness for action cameras because what you don't get to see all the time with a lot of hunting is what's going on
Nice shot, Hitmaker. Final day of this late season turkey hunting. Got a nice bird here. They were on the roost. Nobody had seen them for a couple days here. I knew they were here, just had to figure out where. So I came all the way up top. On the last day, whew, it's a lot of work climbing these hills, especially in the snow, but it pays off. I thought they were coming from this side. This, there's a drop off here. I didn't know it was that steep and it's big. So it took them a long time to get over here. I could not move. They came up this valley, long shot, about 55 yards. They were staring at me. They couldn't figure it out. Started to sleet a little bit. Picked one. There he is. The rest flew off. There was probably 20, 30 gobblers. Almost uh, yarded up like deer. It was all long beards. So we'll be back here in the spring for sure. But thanks for watching. Hope I can give you a glimpse into a different style of hunting. Um, this time of year is something special. It's cold, it's storming, it's you know, birds, no cover, um, you know, no decoys today, just calling with the mouth calls. That's all I had, three mouth calls and just ping pong back and forth between those three. But nothing beats that right there. That's a the tag field, I'm loving it. So, you can see different angles with the different cameras and self-filming is difficult. Well, it's even more difficult when there's no cover or snow on the ground. You're multiplying the eyes and the ears. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of exercise. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll hoof him out of here and we'll come back here in the spring for sure. I'm liking this. We got permission from the landowner. We are the only ones that turkey hunt this now. So this is a big farm, but I'm digging these ridge tops. I mean, it goes 500 yards that way, 500 yards that way. It's a steep, steep valley. I had no clue till I got up here today. So it paid off, went a little further. Still storming, so. I got a bird to clean. I'll check you later. Thank you for watching Boss Life Outdoors. Life Outdoor Gear dot com.
Thank you for watching Boss Life Outdoors.